Nangan is the largest island of the Matsu Islands, covered with heavy historical scars brought on by the ravages of war. Even today, with the ending of its tactical mission, the ever-present soldiers are still very much a part of life on this island. Since the opening of the Nangan Airport in 2003, touring Nangan has become much easier. If you have some time to spare, you could also take the Taima Ferry, Taiwan Matsu Ferry, from Geelong Harbor to Nangan. The Fuau Harbor is the main harbor serving the citizens of Nangan, and a port of call for all transports and Taima ferries. Nangan's transportation is simple. Aside from civilian transport, such as scooters and taxis, the Kaliao Tourism Bus, sponsored by Vientiane County Government, is also an excellent choice for all your travel needs while on Nangan. Matsu, the former Frontline Isles, reputedly received its name from the famed deity Matsu. Nangan Island is the main island of the Matsu Islands, thus it is also called Matsu Island. The generations of Mindong people on the island go out and face the challenges of the sea day after day, armed with only their courage and the blessings of the deity Matsu. Not far from the airport lies Jesho Village, formerly Shanlong Village. In the earlier times, it was the main hub of commerce and livelihood for the citizens, since it lies further away from the PLA artillery. It is now the most prosperous village of Nangan Township. Even while businesses abound, a small clearing in front of the county government building is still used as a vegetable patch. The bounty from this patch provides citizens with fresh vegetables, and it stands as testament to the practical and simple nature of Nangan citizens. One cannot talk about the Matsu Islands without talking about the deity Matsu. It is said that when Lin Wonyang jumped into the sea to save her father, she floated in with the tides onto the shores of Nangan Island. This is where the Matsu Village is located today, and why the Matsu Island and Matsu Village are so named. Matsu Village is located on the western shores of Nangan Island, and its Temple of the Heavenly Empress is now the center of the Matsu faith. It is said that the stone sarcophagus in the temple is the final resting place of the deity Matsu herself. In recent years, a Matsu religious park has been established around the Temple of the Heavenly Empress in order to preserve the Matsu religious tradition and to promote tourism. The village of Fuxing used to be called Niujiao or Bull's Horns. This used to be a prosperous fishing village, but with the loss of the area's fishing resources, Fuxing's fortune declined. The empty but well-preserved Ika In single seal buildings and the maze like alleys are all the remnants of the memories of its bustling past. With the memories come a sense of quiet calm and dignity. In recent years, with the efforts of the locals, the stone buildings have found new life by hosting bookstores, tea shops, and art galleries. The spirits of traditionalism, culture, and beauty have found new life here. The revitalized bull's horns is definitely worth a visit.
Jinsha village to the south of Nangan also preserved many traditional buildings. The layered marble houses make the village a veritable stone castle when seen from afar. Jinshan used to be the premier fishing village on Nangang Island. Recently, with the efforts of the county government and the Jinshan Neighborhood Development Association, plans have been laid to set up a cultural village at Jinsha. Jinsha Village will surely reinvent itself in the near future. After visiting the traditional communities on Matsu, are you feeling the call of Matsu's beauty? If you wish to further understand Matsu, the Matsu Cultural Museum in Qinshui is the ideal cultural venue. The Matsu Cultural Museum carries within it the entire cultural heritage of the Matsu area, from biology and cultural heritage through to industry and rituals. The museum provides not only complete and detailed explanations, but also numerous historical and cultural artifacts. The evolution of Matsu over thousands of years can be understood at that one place. Although the Matsu Islands have finally laid down its arms, the ever-present slogans and fortresses remains as a testament to Matsu's military background.